Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. In this video, let's see how do we load the data into dimension table and create hash key with the combination of multiple column values to maintain the uniqueness in the table. All right. First of all, let me show you guys the data which I am trying to load so that it will be more clear for you to understand. So this is the data which is in a CSV format, which I just mocked up. Let's not worry about the data. So the data which I have mocked up, right, it has got um, SCD type 2 attribute. If you observe here, it has got employee ID, name, designation, work location, contact details, from date, to date and is active. All right. Here, whenever employee designation changes, so what I am trying to do, I am just maintaining the history of the previous designation and also the current designation. If you observe this specific row for employee ID 1001, so before he was working as uh, executive, he started in 20, uh, 2018 uh, February 7th and till 2019, 3rd April he was working as executive and now his designation got changed. When his designation got changed from executive to manager? In 2019, April 4th, his designation got changed. The previous designation ended on 3rd April and he started with a new designation on 4th April and there is no end date for that because still he is under the same designation, he is working as a manager. All right. So, this specific record it shows that he is active 1. So, the previous record it has been closed. Right. So, here the data itself is in uh, type 2 format. So, what I am trying to do just I am trying to load this data into dimension table, but I am not creating a pipeline to handle this uh, type 2 uh, data loads. Okay, For that, I already did a couple of videos uh, to show how do we load the data into uh, dimension table which has got type 0 attributes, type 1 attributes and type 2 attributes. Please have a look into those uh, videos. I will just anyways, I will provide those links in the description below. So, in this specific video, what I am trying to do is. I already prepared the data in type 2 format. I know need to create a pipeline to load the data into type 2 table. So, this will be just one time load. If you observe here, the least granular level in this table is employee ID. But again, if you look at this data, I mean this employee ID has got repeated, right? Because whenever the specific employee designation changes, so the is, is previous record as well as current record will be maintained. So, when you observe that, your employee ID will be duplicated, right? But if you look at this table, you, you can't see uniqueness in the table. If you want to see a uh, unique record in this table, there is no uh, uniqueness in this table. So, what I am trying to do here is just I want to load this data as is into one dimension table. So, while loading the data through pipeline, I wanted to create one hash key with the combination of multiple column values that I will tell you what uh, you know column values I am going to use uh, for this combination. So, so I am going to create one hash which will uniquely identify each row in this table. All right. So, if I create a uh, hash key with a combination of employee ID and from date and to date, we can have one unique row uh, for each employee. Right. As I said, I am going to repeat again, I am not going to create a pipeline for type 2 data loads or maybe type 1 or type 0 data loads. I am going to just load as is this data into table. While loading this data into table, I wanted to create hash key with the combination of employee ID and also from and to date to maintain the uniqueness in the table. All right. So, let us get started. I got already I got already this uh, dim employee CSV file uploaded into uh, blob storage. So, this KR demo is the uh, in a storage account which I created and also I uploaded the file into uh, storage. All right. Of course, I created even Azure Data Factory service as well. Let me just go ahead and launch the Data Factory. Uh, so, Care ADF demo is the Data Factory service which I created. I am going to just launch the Data Factory service. And also, I created SQL database here. Care SQL demo is a server. Within the server, I have created the database called Target DW database. If, if I go to SQL database, you could see target DW database which I created. I am trying to create the dimension in this table and load the data which I just shown you in the CSV file. And while loading, as I said, right, I am going to create one hash key with the combination of the three column 
uh, values. With the combination of employee ID and uh, from date and to date, I am going to define new grain. So, that will be ash key that will act as the grain in this specific table. So, grain means as you know that it is least granular level in this table. Okay, here I am connecting to SQL Server database engine uh, that is Azure SQL Server through SSMS on my local machine. Let me try connecting. Here it should be SQL authentication. I am going to just admin ID and password. All right, I just connected. Now, Azure SQL Server has been connected through SSMS in my local machine. I can directly execute the queries here. I can execute these queries directly in portal also, but uh, that's okay. This is more comfortable. So, I'm going to just use the database. It's a target DW database. So, let me just expand and see if we have got any tables. So, we don't have any uh, user created tables currently. It is empty. Now, let's go ahead and build the pipeline to create the table during runtime and also load the data from CSV file into table. All right. I am going to just get into ADF which we already launched. Let me just go ahead and create new pipeline. I am going to just say on dimension load the activities those I need to get this requirement done. First of all I need data flow activity. I am going to just find let us get into this data flow and uh, I am going to just go to settings. I am going to just define source and destination in the data flow activity all right so i'm going to name it as blob so as our file is in blob storage say new azure blob storage let me just continue and delimited text file say continue i'm going to name it as ds dim that's okay let me just go ahead and create link service i'm going to name it as ls blob let me just go ahead and select my Visual Studio subscription and uh, storage name which I created this KR and demonstrates. Let's go ahead and say create. So when we say create, uh, there will be data set created and also link services also will be created. If you want to know more about data set and link services, please do watch my you know introduction video where I just covered all those basic stuff. And uh, now let's go ahead and browse the file which is under development container. We got two files as of now. Let's let's go and uh, select our dimension file that is dim employee.csv. That's it. Uh, yeah, uh, let's check this option. First row got headers. Say okay. Alright, we are done with our source settings. Now I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add one transformation that is derived column transformation. The purpose of the derived column transformation is uh, to create the ash key. Okay, so of course, if you want to rename it, you can rename it. Maybe I'll say ash key. So before going ahead and create ash key, let's check our you know data types coming from, coming out from our source file. If you go to projection, you could see that all of all the fields those are coming out from our source file are uh, string format right so what are the column if you want to convert to different uh, type of course you can just go ahead and do that so i'm going to convert employee id as uh, integer and the name let it be string and designation string uh, i'm going to go for work location string that's okay contact details i'm going to go for long from date let me just date is in uh, integer format that is it, it is in yyy mmdd format from date again integer to date integer and is active of course again let me go for integer okay all right uh, this is how i want the data into my final dimension table that's okay um, so the next thing is what uh, we gonna create ash key here okay so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just specify column name as scd key scd key that's okay and uh, i'm gonna write expression for that you can write your own expression how you want changes or any sort of calculations if you want to do of course you can so there will be some built-in functions you can use those functions and have your uh, you know calculations or any expression written here okay so here what i am trying to do is i am trying to create an create a ash key with the combination of employee id as well as from date and to date so for that we got function called sha1 so we got two functions so it's a sha1 and sha2 
SHA2 in case if you want to create hash key with the, with the, with the combination of uh, the numerical uh, column values of course, you can go for that SHA1 with the combination of any type of data you can create hash key. So, I am going to go for uh, SHA1 uh, function. So, here we need to specify what are the columns you are going to use for this combination to create the hash key. So, here what I am going to use, I am going to use emp underscore id comma from date comma to date this is the one ok. I, I just passed all the columns combination here let me just go ahead and save it and save and finish. So, now finally, I am going to just load into a table that is it. So, I am going to add sync here let me just go ahead and complete the configurations for sync and this I am going to name it as SQL that is ok. Let us go ahead and create data set and link service for SQL. So, I am going to say ds dim load create new link service I am going to say ls equal fine server name database name that is target dwdb and SQL authentication let me just go ahead and pass the account name and the password fine we are done let us go ahead and create. So, we do not have a table so what I am going to do I am going to just create new table here and I am going to name it as dim employee. So, dim employee is the table I am going to create and if I go to mapping here right so uh, it would have been automatically mapped if you want to just see how mapping is of course, you can just take up that auto mapping and uh, check if mapping is uh, correctly done or not. So, it is fine all right mapping is done correctly nothing to do just so I am going to go and execute the pipeline that is it. So, go to dim load that is the pipeline I am going to just start debugging. So, our pipeline is going to start let us wait for few seconds it will be done and we can have data validated through SSMS here I already connected to SQL server I am going to just write a query to say select store from dim employee. Let us wait for our pipeline to be executed it is in progress now it may take you know few more seconds. I am going to just create query to see if there are any duplicates in SCD key. So, there should not be just I wanted to see that first we will execute since our pipeline is executed successfully yep it is done I could see the data also being loaded into table all right ok. Now, if you observe here right um, for this first employee id that is uh, 1001 if you could see that the SCD key is different even though employee id is same, but SCD key is different because it is created with the combination of employee id and also from and to date. So, of course, for this two rows right from and to dates are different even though employee id is same, but from and to dates are different. So, uh, there is a unique key generated for the, with the with the combination of from and to and also employee id. If you want to see if there are any duplicates see nothing there are no duplicates at all. So, this SCD key is identifying each row uniquely in the table all right. I hope this is clear for you guys. So, so now in the next video we will see how do we load fact table and have this SCD key populated into fact table all right. So, this is how we can generate hash key with the combination of multiple uh, column values to maintain uniqueness in the table all right. I hope this is clear for you guys. I hope this is clear for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe for more videos from my side on Azure and also on Power BI all right. We will meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you.